Hello, this is Pastor Jim Kibler. You know, one of my favorite passages in the Bible is Isaiah chapter 6. I get chills and goosebumps every time I read this. It says, In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Do you know what Isaiah actually saw? He actually saw the glory of God. Oh my goodness. The glory of God. Moses in uh, Exodus chapter 33, he says to the Lord, he says, show me your glory. Show me your glory. I want to see you. Oh, I'm telling you, to see God is to see glory. God says, nobody can see my face and live, but I will put you in the cleft of a rock and I will cover you with my hand. And you cannot see my face but you can see my back as I passed by. Oh my goodness. The glory of God. Moses was so close to the Lord, he said, I want to see you. I'm telling you what, heaven is a real place. The throne of grace is a real place. And the glory of God resides there. Oh, get, get a revelation of this. I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. The glory of God. God is so holy. His glory is so abundant that the angels, the seraphim, fly around him and with, with six wings. They've got two wings that cover their feet. They, they cover their face with two wings. God is so holy, even the angels don't look at him. And they cry, holy, holy, holy. That tells us in Revelations, day and night. Constantly, just flying around the Lord, crying, holy, holy, holy. This is the glory of God. Oh my goodness. This same God, who created the universe, who holds the world in the palm of his hand, wants to bless you. He wants to bless you with abundance. He wants to heal your body. He wants to provide everything you will ever want or need. Oh my goodness. We have a wonderful God. A holy God. Full of love and full of glory. Who cares about us. Zephaniah chapter 3 he says he sings over us. He rejoices over us with singing like a mother sings over her child. Oh my goodness, God is so wonderful. So holy. He's only good. Nothing bad ever comes from God. God never wants you to be sick. He never wants you to be broke or to be poor. And he will bless you. We've written a new book called The Blessing. It's about appropriating the blessing of God. It's about living in the fullness of God's blessing. Go to Amazon.com, type in The Blessing, and get this book. People are buying five and ten copies at a time now for their friends and for their family. Get this book. I'm telling you, this book will absolutely change your life. It will bring the fullness of the blessing of God into your life. The creator of all the heavens and the creator of all the world, who holds the palm of this earth, in the palm, oh, who holds the earth in the palm of his hand. I'm so excited I can't even talk about it. God's so wonderful. He will bless you. Go to our website, increasenow.com. Listen to these messages on the goodness of God. Above all things, God says in John, in 3 John verse 2, above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health. God wants you to prosper. It says that this same God who is so holy and so full of glory takes pleasure in your prosperity in Psalm 35. Oh my goodness. Give God pleasure. Appropriate the blessing. Go to Amazon.com, type in the blessing, get this book and learn how to walk in the fullness of the blessing of God and how to appropriate His glory in your life.